you know, I, I always talk about alcoholics like surfing. Everybody's a surfer and everybody's an alcoholic. It's just whether you drink or you surf. But we're all naturally alcoholics and surfers. You're coming up on 16 years. Something like that, 16, sober? 17. Yeah. That's, congratulations. I'm almost two years in. Gabby, I believe, said that you turn into Larry. <sighs> yeah. I'm like, whoa. You know, I, I always talk about alcoholics like surfing. Everybody's a surfer and everybody's an alcoholic. It's just whether you drink or you surf. But we're all naturally alcoholics and surfers. What people, what do you mean? I go, there's not a person alive that wouldn't love standing on a board and riding a wave. There's just nobody. I don't care if you're from Russia, in the middle of Siberia, or from, it doesn't matter. Just like being an alcoholic. There's no one, there's no human that doesn't like to drink that wouldn't like the feeling of drinking. It's That's what it's designed to do. I mean, that's what it does. But, so I had that, I had my mom, and coming from my, you know, my mom having it, uh, and I'm not good with alcohol. I'm just, I, you know, I think I can jump over the building and, you know, I'm just always doing, I just, nothing ever good came out of anything drinking, right? Mm -hmm. All the worst sh things I've ever done. It says it right on the bottle, impairs judgment and motor skill. Like it's not, it's so, uh, but that was a discipline thing, right? That was a thing at a certain point. My mom said something to me that I, that really stuck with me that really was one of the contributing things that helped me a lot, which was if you can't be true to yourself, you can't be true to anyone else. And so I thought, and I would drink and then not drink and be like, and then drink and be like, oh, I can stop any time. And then I'd stop for a couple of weeks, then I'd start again. So I'd always had that emotional roller coaster of I got control of it, but I don't have control of it. And then I have the guilt associated with it. And I'd drink and wake up at five and train like an animal and justify my drinking. Cause then I could be like, Hey, cool, man. I can, I can, I'm handling it. This I can, I'm doing my me. work. I'm doing my work. I'm, I can drink and train every day. And a lot of it was guilt training, you know, cause I'm training cause I'm trying to make up for the fact that I'm feel shady inside that I don't have the discipline to do that. And, uh, and so eventually, the, and, and I, and it, it was going to contribute to, it was contributing to, to hurting my relationship with with Gabby, who I who I love and who that's the last thing I would I would want. And it was also it was gonna it was starting to like the girls were gonna start being exposed to it. They're really young. My I mean my youngest uh my middle one was was young. And and so I'm like, you know what? I just don't want them a bunch of reasons, right? I just went but it was a discipline thing. And so I just wanted, I wanted to, to prove to myself that I had the discipline and, uh, and I didn't have AA, I didn't have any reinforcement, no help, no nothing, just cold turkey, boom, start, done, finished 16 years. Uh, I haven't, and I have no desire, no interest. And what I really came to learn about it was that it really, it was a sugar addiction. You're, you're, you're coming up on 16 years. Something sober. like that, 16, sober. 17. Yeah. That's, congratulations. I'm almost two years in. Love it. Wish I would have done this a long time ago. Me too. Ago. Absolutely. Did you have a specific, I mean, what was it that triggered it? I, I read into some of your story. I was planning on covering this later in the interview. I know that uh, Gabby, I believe, said that you turn into Larry. Larry, yeah. What are some a of the things animal. that were happening? I just, you know, I, I would, uh, well, it's fire water for me. I don't know if I got some kind of wild native something blood or something but it would definitely <laughs> it would definitely like i just wasn't a good i would go and you know drive cars fast and jump off create you just do radical stuff mm -hmm. i always thought i go i can le leap buildings in a single bound like that was my that's what it does to me like it turns on that part of my my brain of just like a, a like a like a wild animal i turn into a wild animal and uh which i'm already i think naturally a little already going that direction. I don't need any support. I don't need any boost. I don't need anything. No enhancement. No, no enhancement. And so, uh, you know, and, and it was just, it would never, it just, it, it just, it was, it's not, it's just not, nothing good's coming out of it. You know, I think one night I came back and I had, I always want to prove, right, that I could handle so it's like oh yeah i can get i can drink three bottles of wine and drive my truck home and something and i think i banged a pole and didn't nothing didn't set the airbag but the sheared the pole off and then it was like the next day the pole was hanging i came to the bottom of the hill and i looked at the pole and i thought hmm okay 
got lucky on that one. Like I was, I probably was going four, but I had a, you know, giant truck with a huge bumper and yeah. just, just whatever. I, I, again, being looked after, you know, being fortunate, got getting, getting away. You know, it, it's interesting because I, you know, we talk about, you see like, in, especially in, in surfing, right? And we see people doing, you see people can doing certain things and you're kind of like, like, like the angels are busy protecting them. Yeah. So you better have your, cause they're not, there's none available for you because they're busy. Cause when you watch the way the humans are conducting themselves, the, <laughs> every angel available is busy. Yeah. So you better, if you have the fortitude to be able to keep your stuff and be aware and keep yourself good, you better do that. So, you know, I think there was a culmination of a bunch of incidences, behavior, relationship stuff, health, whatever, just all those things over time. It was just like, okay, I'm good. Like I'm, like okay. I'm, I'm, and I, and I'm good to the point where I'm going to be good, good. And, uh, and not just dabble good. But that's why I said the question really is, is you, do you want to? Like really want to. Because yeah. people go, yeah, they want to, but they kind of say it out of the side of their face. Yeah, I want to stop it. I'm like, so there wasn't there wasn't necessarily a specific incident or an ultimatum or, no. or anything like that? No. Interesting. No. I mean, with, with, with what triggered mine was, um, we had spoken about this, but I did a, I did a psychedelic therapy uh, yep. for for traumatic brain injury and, yep. and post traumatic stress and and I never thought I I used to, I had steps there was a time when it was wake I would wake up and it was vodka mini bottles all day long and then and then at nighttime I would just crack open a, a fifth and down a fifth or two and then I got away from that and I got into wine and it, it was yeah, two, three bottles a night. And then I did this, 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 this therapy. And when I came out of it, I just, it, it was like I had my, it was like my body had an epiphany that it was, it was, the shit's poison. Quit doing it. And I, I have not had another drop since. Amazing. And uh, that, yeah, so, so yeah. there wasn't any specific. No, no I mean, I, I, I well, the potential that it was going to ruin my relationship, that and that was getting it was getting to the point where it was going to be like any at any minute it was going to be, you Gone. know, Gabby would walk out, and so that uh, or I would hurt myself, something, just something. I just I felt like there I was at critical mass, like the, enough things had happened, and there was an accumulation that I was at this position where there was going to that that it was it wasn't going to be. It was going to just be one straw that broke the camel's back. You gotcha. know, yeah. like it was piled up and it was ready to any, and you, I didn't know which one it was going to be. And I think that was it. I think that the, 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 the thought of, of the relationship or something bad happening uh, with me or to one of my kids or just something, I just was like, okay, I got to, this is, this is, this is, I don't have, um, any kind of control over this. This is not, I don't, I'm, I'm, it's out of control. And, 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 uh, how and long I, was that going on for? You know, years, years, like, uh, like, and it, 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 you know, ebb and flow, but it was, it was, it was ramping up. I could feel, uh, I mean, I, it was definitely, it was definitely ramping up. And, you know, and I think it was connected to, obviously, it's always connected to something that you're suppressing, you're, you're, your, I mean, maybe the responsibility of, you know, actually, you know, being a dad and being a husband and, you know, and just facing sobriety or whatever it is. I don't, who mm -hmm. know, who knows, but somewhere something was getting suppressed. Something was getting, was getting, you know, held down. And, and then, and then, I, so I went into it and, uh, I just, like I said, stopped. And then I started just getting crazy sugar stuff. And, and I realized that it was just, it, it was also the, the, and I have a thing with sugar, like that, like, 
about it being like some having some sort of it, and, and it was sugar. It's a sugar addiction. It's the highest level when you look at alcohol and you think about what is liquid sugar. It just goes right in your bloodstream. It takes the absorption is, you know, and then like having a mom that, 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 you know, that was an alcoholic being around people watching. As soon as I stopped and I started watching people's transformation, I was like, whoa, wow, it's amazing. Like you don't, and when you're doing it, you don't even know, you don't even realize that you're just what you what turn you, into. I'm yeah. like, whoa, I can't imagine. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.